Hey there guys, it's the Nuggets, Casey Nicole, and I'm back again with the shenanigans. Hey Leo, how are y'all doing? I hope that you guys have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed your birthday month, okay? Leo, how's your week been going? How's your day been going? How's your weekend been going? How's your month been going, okay? I'm just going to pull some self-love messages for you today, Leo, okay? These are your self-love messages to help you continue down your journey, down your path, to complete whatever tasks that your guardian angels, God, spirit, whoever you believe in, intends or wants for you to complete, okay? I feel like you guys are, are feeling... Oh... You gotta breathe. You have to think. Think. It's kind of like think, think. Like, you know when people say think, 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 like they're trying to remember something, you know what I'm saying? You guys are having to take a deep breath. You guys are having to remember maybe who you are. Somebody is trying to take you out of character or bring you out of your character right now. You're having to think of maybe a plan or you're having to come up with a solution for something, maybe at work. Um, some unexpected um, setbacks or some unexpected issues have taken place and you have to like take the lead. Okay, Leo. You guys, thank you so much for those who have already subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. For you guys who are new as well, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I really appreciate all the people who have recently come on. Y'all really don't understand how much that means to me. I really appreciate you guys. And remember, these messages are timeless and general, okay? So whenever you're guided to the message is when you're meant to receive it. And it's general, so go with what you know, okay? All right. Guess what, guys? I got a new deck. Energy Oracle card. And this is not a new deck to everyone, but it's a new deck to motherfucking me, okay? So we're going to be pulling your self-love messages, and I'm going to read from the book so that we can get a clear meaning for what your guardian angels are trying to tell you, okay? They're so stiff. Like, whenever the cards are new, I just find that they're so stiff. <laughs> Maybe somebody's being stiff with you. So maybe somebody is not like loosening up. Guardian angels, what's two messages for my Leos? What's two messages for my Leos that they need to have on their self-love journey? Their journey of growth, expansion. What do they need to know? Okay, one came out. What's another message? I need, oh, two. Wow. Somebody is hiding something from you too, Leo. Somebody's hiding something from you. Because that card, I'm going to show you. It looked just like this when it fell out. But lo and behold, something else is back there. You understand? Mm. So this person, at first they looked to be one way. And then they showed you their true fucking colors. Is that true, Leo? Y'all tell me if I'm wrong or not, okay? Leave me some comments, okay? Blossoming abundance is at the bottom in reverse, okay? And not all of the, see, not all of the cards are in reverse like that. There are a few in reverse, but you got blossoming abundance at the bottom in reverse, which means that if blossoming abundance is upright, it means that the universe is giving you gifts of intuition, giving you gifts of inspiration, and everything is blossoming beautifully. Everything is growing around you. You see there are pinnacles there, but you got it in the reverse. So with these two cards, with this one card hiding behind the other card, I feel like somebody is hiding something from you, that there may be some secrets, okay? And you discover that someone is not truly who they said they were, and whatever abundance that you thought would blossom is not a blossoming, okay? Leo, okay. So the first card that came out was Fifth Chakra Archangel Gabriel, but it came out in the reverse, okay? The second card, and this is number 39, okay? Sorry, I should have said the numbers. 
That's number 39. And Blossoming Abundance is number three. Okay? So 39, 3, and 26. Hostilites. Ooh. So these are new cards, you guys. So let's read. The Hostilites came out in the upright. I'm a little concerned, Leo. I feel like you are needing to get... I feel like you're needing to get... You're, you're needing to think quickly to get out of a situation that is hostile for you right now, okay? So let's read 39 first for Archangel Gabriel, fifth chakra, okay? If I could find the doggone page, have mercy, Jesus. So in the upright, Archangel Gabriel, Gabriel holds the trumpet in one hand and the beautiful orb of blue light in the other, right? He is sending powerful energy to your throat center, acknowledging your power to communicate and your readiness to do so. This angel opens up, opens you up to truthful expression, both within yourself and others. You may have had trouble with expressing emotions and ideas in the past, but Gabriel is here to tell you that your soul longs to communicate in your soul longs. Oh my God, reading is so hard for me today. I don't know what the heck is wrong with me. Wow, some you don't know what's wrong with you. This has never happened to you. You've never been able, you never had to deal with, with, with this situation before, okay? Okay, so you may have had trouble with expressing your emotions and ideas in the past, but Gabriel is here to tell you that your soul longs to take this leap now. Be aware that true communication includes how you speak to yourself, so never deny your profound inner integral value speak up for yourself write in your journal let your words flow now is the time to express yourself freely and fully and the universe always honors your choice to do so this card could also indicate that a communication project is coming or a time of heightened communication with spirit and telepathy with others but guys leo it came out in the reverse so reverse this card um often indicates significant blocks in the throat center. So you guys need to get some crystals that maybe could help release the blockage in your throat chakras, okay? Something in your history may have caused you to shut down, but it's important now to break through the unhealthy pattern or you may currently be in a situation where the free sharing of your ideas, opinions, or feelings is being thwarted. I don't know what this other car mean, but I was already getting, I feel like you have to think, 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 solve it, solve it, solve it. And you're not being able to solve it. You're not, you don't have the words to solve this problem. In addition to the fear of self-expression, this card reverse could indicate physical throat problems as all the chakra cards reverse may signal difficulties in that area of the body. The physical trouble may be connected to the blocked energy in that chakra. So it's all the more important to work on clearing the energy in the center involved. To clear the throat chakra, call upon Gabriel and meditate on his power. Blasting through any blocks, um, see your throat center spinning in a beautiful blue light. Muster up the courage to speak your truth to yourself and to those around you. It's time to let go of any old fear of con confrontation and stand up for yourself from now on. Okay. So Leo, just because this is like really stressing me, um, I was wondering why the additional card didn't come out. Turns out that there was something else behind this. Okay. There's something else behind someone that you're dealing with or a situation that you're dealing with. You need to communicate um, I think with yourself more, that's what your guardian angels are telling you. So I'm going to give you a little extra. I didn't give this to nobody else, Leo. I'm going to give you the affirmation. You need to say, my throat chakra is open to its perfect, healthy state, spinning with the beautiful energy of freedom and self-empowerment. I am free to express myself in every way. Say that um, to yourself so that you can clear. Somebody could be... Somebody could be putting negative energy on you so that you can't speak. Okay, Leo? I don't want that to happen to you. So that's why I wanted to read the affirmation for you as well. Okay? Y'all don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. But now we're going to read this Hostilites card, which I'm a little um, nervous of. 
Okay, defenses up, aggressive energy. Wow, upright. This card shows a man raising his sword in readiness to do battle. When it comes upright, it reveals a situation where hostile lights toward you are about to be or have already been engaged. Damn. What did I say? Somebody's not showing their true colors. Somebody tried to play you. Somebody who you thought you were going to have this blossoming abundance with is a fucking fraud. Fucking fraud. Leo, Leo. Okay. The aggressive energy may be verbal or emotional with someone in your environment being excessively critical, demanding, or hurtful in a work or social social situation, okay? There may be backstabbing or out-and-out out slander going on. Somebody throwing some dirt on your name? You better tell them put some respect on, on your name, Leo. Get the fuck away from this person, whoever's in your mind right now, that you know that this is resonating with you with. Get the fuck out of there because they were secretive. They were hiding behind other things to make you think one way about them when that is really not truly who they were. And I said that before I even read these meanings, okay? This is different from the deceit card because the hostile energies are more apparent, more overt. In fact, you may have been living with them for some time. Mm. But whether this is new or old energy, now is the time to regain control. Allowing dishonoring threat. Oh, sorry. Allowing dishonoring treatment from others is an open invitation to the universe to send you more. It may feel risky, but you need to have the courage to stand up for yourself now and always. Leo, um... With that being said, and with your throat chakra apparently being blocked by someone, I, you know what, I don't want to say this because I don't want to put this on anybody's life. So if it doesn't fit your life, don't force it. But I just heard in my head that someone is doing some type of magic on you, Leo. Um, Someone is putting some type of hex. So I heard the word hex in my head. Hex, um, hoax. Um, those two words, like somebody is putting some type of juju on you, you know, that is definitely negative. Okay. And you need to stand up for yourself at this point. That is the message that I'm getting from your guardian angels. So Leo, this has been your self-love message. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it has helped you and go back to that affirmation and write it down so that you can clear out your throat chakra. Okay. So you guys remember, stick to the positivity today, be blessed, and let no one steal your joy. Y'all remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, Leo.